ladies and gentlemen, we just got some brand new broken generic insect stuff support because it's insect plant and like reptiles too. Uh, but hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most, Avery LR32 here. Destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button so we can keep on climbing even higher the 1300 ladder. Uh, I apologize about the audio not sounding good in my deck profile the other day. Um, I do apologize about that. My webcam just sucks. So anyway, without any further ado, we're doing this the old-fashioned way off my phone. Step into the forest of Rika. So if Tri Brigade was so good, why didn't they make a Tri Brigade too? <laughs> well, they did, but this stuff's just better. So Rika can be read as Budding Calamity. The theme is aggressively Japanese, so to preserve the feel, we kept the names in Japanese, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? So this is Orika Nomarakube, Earth Plant Effect, level 1, attack and defense 0. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect once per turn. You can special summon this card from your hand by sending one insect, plant, or reptile monster from your hand to the grave. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add up to two of your Orika cards of different names that are banished and or in your deck to your hand except itself. That in of itself is insane. Then banish one Rika card from your hand. That's fine. Also, you cannot special summon some monsters the rest of the turn except insect, plant, reptiles. Who cares? Uh, next up here is Rika Nohazu Kamakiri. Light insect effect. Level 3, 15 hair attack, 0 defense. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card same once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card same once per turn. So you could special summon this card from your hand by placing one of your banished insect, plant, or reptile monsters on the bottom of the deck. Keep in mind, that is generic. And, like, we're not even at the Link Monsters yet. The Link Monsters are just absolutely busted. <laughs> if this card is sent to the graveyard as material for the Link Summon of a Rika Monster, you can target a level 4 or lower Insect Plane or Reptile Monster in your graveyard, except Kamakiri Special Summon it in Defense Mode, which is going to come in handy later for the Link Monsters. I know I'm just kind of blasting through the Effect Monsters here, but that's just because they're basically all just Extenders. The Link Monsters is where it gets actually pretty good. Next up here, we have Raika no Yori Tokage. It literally looks like a Zoid. Shout out to all y'all that knows what Zoids are. Uh, Dark Reptile, Effect Monster, level 4, 0 attack, 2300 defense. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect once per turn. You can special summon this card from your hand by banishing an insect, plant, or reptile monster from your grave. You can discard one insect, plant, or reptile monster, then target a face-up monster your opponent controls, except insect, plant, or reptile, return it to the hand. Uh, being able to banish one is good because uh, you can place one of your banished ones on the bottom of the deck to summon this one. So, yeah, like I said, the, all these things are just extenders. So now it's time to talk about the real bad-to-the-bone stuff here. So this is Raika no Musha do Kuro. Also, the art in these cards is really awesome. Link to 1600 attack, bottom left, bottom right. Two monsters, including an insect, plant, or reptile. So any one monster and then any of one of these other types. So it's pretty generic. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Also, you cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate them, except insect, plant, and reptile, which is fine. You can target one Rika monster in your graveyard, special summon in defense mode. If this card is in your grave, you can target one insect, plant, or reptile monster you control. Place it on the bottom of the deck, and if you do special summon this card, this card's fucking bananas. So you can bring this thing out, Special summon out a Rika monster from your grave, link off into whatever link three you want, or even link climb into these, which is probably what you're going to be doing. Then you just bounce one back to the bottom of the deck to summon this guy back and continue to link climb. These link monsters can bounce themselves from the graveyard back into the extra deck. So like uh, this, this thing here is a plant, right? So if it's in your grave, you target the insect plant or reptile you control place on the bottom of the deck and if you do special summon so like if you control another one of these you just bounce it to summon this or if you control this you can bounce it to summon this it's it's absolutely nuts so then we have raika no ukamushi whatever wind insect link effect monster link 3 2300 attack left bottom bottom right two plus monsters including insect plant and reptile monster you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn you can banish two insect plant and a reptile monsters from your grave add a raika trap from your deck to your hand so, spoiler alert, the trap card is basically an Icarus attack on crack. It's okay. Um, I was kind of hoping for maybe an Infernity Barrier-esque trap, because that seems like what every archetype gets nowadays, but I guess they kind of wanted to be a little bit different, but it's whatever. You're probably going to be splashing all these cards into, like, a sub-engine for your Reptile Plant or Insect deck. Maybe Rika Sun Avalon will suddenly be Tier 0 or something. If this card's in your grave, you can target one Insect Plant or Reptile Monster you control. Place on the bottom of the deck, and if you do Special Summon this card, also, you cannot Special Summon monsters for the rest of this turn except Insect Plant and Reptile Monsters. Are you starting to see a pattern here? Because all of these Link Monsters have that effect. So, you know, if... 
you have some random insect monster on your field. You bounce it to summon this. This is now on your field. You can trigger this to bounce this to summon. So you can bounce all of your used link monsters back into the extra deck to summon each other back. Or even if like the biggest one in here is in your grave, I think it does the same thing if I remember off the top of my head, although we're about to read it, you can just summon that out. So this one here is the Raikou no Kursarami. Uh, this is the link four, uh, bottom left, bottom, bottom right and right. Two plus monsters, including an insect plant, a reptile monster, 2900 attack, like I said. And it's it's also fire. Keep that in mind. Like, <laughs> this one's a fire. This one's a fire. Like, I, I just want to point that out. If your opponent activates a monster effect, you can make both players unable to activate monster effects in the hand for the rest of this turn. Talk about a weird-ass effect. Like, it just says no to hand traps. If this card's in your graveyard, you can target one insect plant, a reptile monster control, place on the bottom deck. And if you do special summon this card, also you can't special summon monsters except one of the three types. Next up here is a Rika no Dioga, Earth Insect Link Effect Monster. Link 5, 3300 attack. This is the big baddie. Uh, left, right, bottom, left, bottom, and bottom, right. Two plus insect, plant, and or reptile monsters. You can only use the first and second effects once per turn. If a monster monsters a special summon from your opponent's deck and or extra deck, you can pop two monsters on the field. Just any two monsters on the field doesn't target. That's pretty good. If this card's in your grave, you can target one insect plant or reptile monster you control. Place on the bottom of the deck, and if you do special summon this card, also you cannot special summon monster for the rest of the turn except insect plant and reptiles. So, what you mean to tell me is that if you have all these link monsters in the graveyard, you can just go like summon this one, bounce to summon this one, bounce, summon this one, bounce this, end on this one. You now have this guy back. That is insane. <laughs> like to me, this whole interaction of being able to bounce the link monsters is just incredible. It gives you recursion for resources that you otherwise wouldn't have. And like, it just allows you to grind games. Like people are already playing Soul Release for Fire Kings post Phantom Nightmare. Soul Release is gonna be a hell of a card. <laughs> Next up here is, uh, we got the spell and trap line. Now that's all the monsters. Raiko Ryurin Kusaraki, or however you pronounce this, continuous spell. You can always the second effect of this card's name once per turn. All insect, plant, reptile monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense. Also, all other face-up monsters on the field lose 300 attack and defense. So your 3300 beat stick becomes 36. That's really good. You can activate one of these effects. Add a one Raika monster from your deck to your hand and ditch a card. That's really good since they're all basically extenders. Special summon one of your Raika monsters that is banished or in your hand or graveyard in defense mode. That's insane now that we talked about all of the link monsters like this is gonna be a disgusting sub engine and then uh, finally here for the trap card we're playing uh raika darren kubakara mararari whatever you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn target cards your opponent controls up the number of insect plant reptile link monsters you control with different types destroy them cool i just i don't think it's all that great if a face of insect plant and or reptile monster monsters you control is destroyed by battle by card effect while this card's in your grave except the turn was sent there you can banish this card then target one monster your opponent controls destroy it so tldr what do i think about this this is an insane like sub engine to use in any insect plant and reptile deck obviously i don't know off the top of my head all of like the best insect plant and reptiles like who knows maybe since the alien monster archetype is reptile maybe this will be good i don't know um, I think Rika Sun Avalon will be even better now. Like, I, I don't see why Rika wouldn't play this. It seems like it's really good, especially since they're all plants. And again, like, being able to bounce these or any insect plant or reptile on your field, just place it back on the bottom of the deck or to the extra deck and just summon these back seems absolutely bonkers. Like, uh, it gives you such a, excuse me it gives you such a good grind game like i'm really impressed with these cards i think legacy of destruction is going to be a really good set now that we've seen like you know yugi's retrain of cards and now we've got these rika cards like we got rika now we got rika rika and rika both deal with plants i think konami knew what they were doing guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below is there something i'm totally missing with these cards like usually whenever i read these cards just off the top of my head i try and think of things that seem good um and this this does seem really good so but maybe there's a combo that i'm just not noticing or maybe these cards are actually bad but let me know down in the comments guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video